Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 11 of Truck Driver The American Dream. So I think this could be the last episode. I'm not entirely sure but I think we're up to chapter 28 or possibly chapter 29. There's 31 chapters. So this could be the last ever episode of Nathan's journey ladies and gentlemen. Last time we found out that uh, Lara is pregnant. Nathan's going to be a dad. So without further ado, let's see what happens this time around. So we are on the road with Nathan. We're heading uh, to Blue Creek Harbour. Uh, this episode, well, this chapter is called The News and the Wind. So what that is all about, I do not know. But well, we'll go there. We'll figure out what, what it's all about. And uh, we'll take it from there. So we're almost there now, not too far to go at all, uh, till we uh, pick up our cargo from uh, Blue Creek Harbour. So I haven't really been playing an awful lot of Truck Driver the American Dream as of late. Uh, since we had that last update, um, I've not been too happy with it. Um, although the development team have posted in the Discord about this lighting issue that I'm always whinging about, and they are fixing it. Um, they put a little clip, uh, Kralski put a little clip in the Discord, um, and the lighting, they are seeing to it now, this sort of headlight effect, it is getting sorted, and obviously they're updating as well uh, to Unreal Engine 5.4, uh, which is fantastic, so I can only expect um, the game to look even sharper, even better. Uh, in the future. I don't think we've got that far to go now. No, we're literally just up the road now. Not too far. We're desperate for fuel as well. But as you can see there with the headlights, when we're still, uh, there doesn't seem to be an issue. It's when we start moving. Uh, it just all becomes very blocky, very pixelated and just a bit messy. Uh, and I'm sure you're all sick and tired of me uh, talking about it, but it's just really off-putting and it really takes me out of the... What is going on here with this traffic? It really takes me out of the uh, the immersion of the game. Uh, for some reason. I just don't like driving around it. Because usually uh, I sit and play uh, the free roam mode. And I can sit on there for hours just sort of going across New York State. Delivering cargo back and forth. And I really enjoy that. It's just really nice, really relaxing. It's not too simulator-ish at all. Very arcadey, But there's a little charm about that as well. That, that it is just so relaxing. And I really enjoy doing it. But uh, fingers crossed. A lot more fixes to come. Like I've always said, I've, I've got massive hopes for this game. Uh, the development team seem really committed on it. Um... They're always working on it, always updating it. And if you are watching this, guys, another thing that was in the uh, original truck driver as well, this uh, uh, stop and go braking. So if I pull forward now, and then I brake, but if I leave my finger on... It's not doing it now. It's not doing it. Hey, forget that. I'm talking absolute nonsense. Yeah, if I keep my finger on the brake, it will... Uh, it will stay still, I think. Let's just try again. Oh, we need some fuel, don't we? There, I'll keep my finger on the brake. But you can hear it's actually gone into reverse there. It's weird. Sometimes it does just reverse back. But let's get some fuel while we're here. That will be a good idea. So let's turn the engine off. And uh, press Y, as you can see down there in the bottom left-hand side. You can see my fuel gauge filling up. We've got 65% stamina as well. So that should see us through this job nicely. Turn the engine back on. And away we go. Put the lights back on. And our pickup should just be down here. Fingers crossed on the left hand side. This is Blue Creek Harbour. I think we have been here before a couple of times during the story. Here we go. This is us. There is our trailer. It looks like we're picking up some kind of blade. And I reckon with the name of this uh, mission called the News in the Wind, it must be some part of uh, wind turbine uh, or something or other. Anyway, here we go. Let's back up. There we are. And we've got it. Fan dabby dozy. 
Right, how far are we going with this bad boy? Not too far at all, actually. We're going to leave here. We're going to pass, just skirt over Forestville, head towards Fleetwood, and there we are on our on our way. But this shouldn't take too long, and that'll be another chapter done. So, yeah, I reckon we'll have this done today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and then we can move on to Brave Girl, the story uh, of Emma. Name of my wife, funnily enough. Um, so we'll see what that story is about as well. That story should only take about six or seven hours. So this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, because as a break there, it started moving back again. Very odd. Right, wait for these lights to change and then we'll uh, crack on. So not too far to go now. We've uh, literally just got to go over this uh, rather large intersection over the bridge. And uh, we should be at our destination to drop this blade off to what I think is to a wind turbine. I may be wrong. Certainly looks like that. It's either that or we are going to the airport, so it might be. Oh, flip. Well, that bit wrong, didn't it? Uh, it could be. No, it's definitely. It's not an aircraft wing, is it? No. It's a turbine blade. It's a turbine blade, it's got to be. A little bit of an accident there. We didn't get a fine for it either, which is surprising. That did. Uh, that has surprised me. But I think that is part of the last update. If it's nothing too serious, you don't get a fine for it. Which is quite nice, isn't it? Uh, losing money over a little lapse of concentration there. If only that works in real life, eh? But I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. I know it's been quite long. Obviously, we're up to uh, episode 11 now. Uh, but I've tried to, to edit it down the best I can and keep it as short as possible. And some of the episodes have been quite long. Uh, up to about an hour long. But it has been very successful on the channel. I'd like to thank each and every single one of you that has taken the time. Uh, to watch these episodes through of Truck Driver the American Dream. And I know it's not some of your uh, cup of tea and some of you don't really aren't keen on the game. Um, but, you know, you've let me play through it on the channel. Uh, you've enjoyed, you've enjoyed the commentary. Uh, some of you have enjoyed the story as the sun comes out as well, uh, which is really nice of you. And uh, like I said, I, I appreciate all your support, all your love. Uh, you're all absolute legends, you really are. Right, this is us, I think. We are here. I think we're going to swing a left. Hopefully don't bump into this police car. Let's put some uh, flashes on. Go on, copper. We ain't got all day. And I can see our uh, red arrow there. Letting us know this is the place. Is this fella in the red going to stop? Yes, he is. Shut up, you tool. Right, here we go. This is us. I'm not backing this in. This can just... This can just get slat in, this can. 80, 90, 100. There we go, right. Let's put the parking brake on. We'll turn the engine off. There we go. We'll press Y. Ta-da! Here we go, another achievement. The news and the wind complete. You can, oh, the 25th chapter. Oh, this might not be the last episode then. <laughs> I thought we were up to chapter 28. How did I get that in my head? This isn't the last episode, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another one to go. The news and the sadness. Oh, please don't tell me she's lost the bloody baby. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, not this car again. That's the sadness. We just got. Who's this? Sorry, I'm a little late, Stephanie. The traffic was a nightmare, but don't worry, we'll still make it to your doctor's appointment on time. Ah, uh, no problem, Runby. Oh, that's driving you to the hospital. Of course, and I'll wait for you and drive you back home when you're ready. Oh, you're so kind. Oh gosh, she. Oh, please, a really God, no. Back home and can't make it today. He told me, "Don't worry, I'll take care of you." Ah, uh, thank you, Runby. So how are you feeling? I'm okay. I wasn't feeling very well the past couple of days, but I'm fine now. <laughs> I'm sure it's easy. But my doctor wants to run some tests. Of course. I'm sure everything will be fine. So how are you, Runby? I haven't seen you in a while. How are things at home? My parents are doing well. My father is taking it easy, and my mom is still doing most of the work around the house. But I try to help out as much as I can. As we get older, we tend to rely on our children more and more. It might be gardening, a little renovation, or 
even a ride to the hospital. And it's our job to be there for you. Don't worry, Jen. Everything is going to be just fine. Sure, sure. So how's the new job? It's great. Working with the natives is a dream come true. And despite the downside of always being on the road, I actually enjoy being a truck driver. It's a good job, but it's tough to find a balance between life on the road and at home. Yeah, but look, Nate nailed it with Lara. I mean, it seems like a trucker and a dispatcher are a match made in heaven. Lara is a great girl. I'm glad Nate met her. She makes him happy. And what about you? Do you have a special someone in your life? Actually, yeah. I met a girl. Her name is Priya. She's nice, funny, and beautiful. Oh, Runby, you're in love. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. Oh, that's great. You deserve to be happy. Thank you, Stephanie. So it looks like we're playing the part of Rambi again and uh, we're giving Nate's mum a lift to the hospital uh, which I don't like the sound of because I'm going to end up crying if something happens to his mum it's a bit too close to the bone for me and I'm, I'm going to end up getting upset if that's the case somebody could have warned me about this honestly uh, for those that don't know uh, I lost my mum not too long ago uh, during Covid she uh, passed away of Covid and um, if his mum ends up passing away, it's going to do me in. It really is. So prepare yourself for that, guys. <laughs> Good lord. Oh dear, right. Well, I've got to go, is it to Kowanda? Uh, to drop off Stephanie, Nate's mum, at the hospital. Uh, she's having some tests done, so we'll, uh, we'll crack on with that. And uh, bring you back in once we reach the hospital. Welcome back. We're not that uh, too far from the hospital now. We can drop uh, Nate's mum off there. She has some tests ran. Hopefully she's okay. It's nothing too serious. And uh, we shall move on to what we'll think will be then. I'm sure we're on chapter 26 now. It should skip on to chapter 27. We've got some traffic lights here. They are green though, luckily for us. Fingers crossed we get through these with the very, very, very slow deciding AI. Come on. You know you want it. You're all going straight ahead. No one's indicating. There's nothing to decide. All you got to do is look to your right. There's nothing coming that way. There we go. It's odd as well because I've just been through a junction exactly the same as this and that didn't have traffic lights. So very odd. And this hasn't got traffic lights. Has that got traffic lights that way? No, there's no lights that way so how does that work anyway let's turn that indicator off here we go popping stephanie off at the hospital like i said first time i've been here as well fingers crossed she's all right and it's nothing too serious we made it i'll park here and wait for you if you need anything just give me a call thank you Ranbir. here we go this is us dropping Stephanie off at the hospital. There you go, love. Off you pop. Let's get our parking position up. There we go. Right. And brake on. Engine off. Right, there you go. Chapter complete. There's another one done. Of course, I had to be canceled. A week after I found out Linda was pregnant, the doctors gave my mother about a year ago. She accepted the news as if it were the most normal thing in the world. She probably even cooked something delicious for the occasion. It's all so surreal. Laura and I are closer than ever. We're having a child, and everything is fine at work. I should be happy, but I'm not. Regardless of our differences, my mother has always been there for me. She's helped me become the man that I am today, always looking for ways to nurture and encourage me. I'll do my best to make sure that she doesn't feel alone now, or at any moment for the rest of her life. Everything will be okay. I was right. Fortunately, uh, Nate's mum is passing away. And uh, she's got a year to live. And that's really upset me. As I expected it would. Bitter Emotions, Carriage Rest Stop, July 25th, 2017.
So now we've got to, uh, oh, we've got a call from Lara. Hey, Nate, how's it going? Hi, babe, what's up? I've got your next assignment. You need to head over to the fruit and vegetable warehouse on the east side of town. They want you to pick up a trailer full of old pallets that they no longer need. The fruit and vegetable warehouse on the east side of town? And then what? Pick up a trailer full of old pallets they no longer need and deliver them to the Washington workshop for repair. And please, make sure to dispose of the irreparable pallets properly. Uh, can you put the address in the GPS for me? Sure thing. Uh, is everything alright? You seem a bit distracted. Not really. I got some really bad news. What's going on, Nate? My mother has cancer. Oh, no. I, I'm so sorry. But we'll do everything we can to help her. Cancer can be treated if caught early on. The doctors gave her a year to live. Oh, that's terrible news. But don't worry, we'll, we'll take care of her together. I don't want to burden you, especially in your current condition. We're in this together, Nate. Stephanie is family. We'll make sure she has the best year possible. Thank you, Laura. You're amazing. We should invite your mom to come live with us. We can take care of her together. Are you sure you're okay with that? Of course. I want to help. We'll make it work. Okay. I'll talk to her about it. We'll get through this together, Nathan. That's what families do. They stick together. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just give myself a minute there, because I'll be honest, this whole thing is uh, is upsetting me a little bit recording this. It's a bit of a tough one for me. Um, so we're here anyway at the National Fruit and Vegetable uh, Wholesale. As you've uh, as you heard, Lara say to Nathan, um, we've got some empty pallets to pick up, and it looks like uh, Nathan's mum's going to be moving in uh, with Lara and Nate during the last twelve months of her life. So they can look after a bit better and uh, she won't have to worry about anything which is really sweet of them and it gives Nate a chance to spend that quality time uh, with his mum uh, before she unfortunately passes away which is a really sweet thing to do she seems like a really nice girl Lara does a lot better than happy Linda uh, have we uh, are we connected up there yes we are so we got to uh, go to the Lake Lumber in Washington, uh, which is way up north for the looks of it. I don't think it's too far. I know Washington is in the top left. Yeah, it's not far at all, this little drive. This shouldn't take us too long at all. Well, let's head out of here. There we go. And we'll, uh, we'll swing a left. Beautiful day as well in state of New York. Which is nice. Nice day for a drive. Well, we've got low stamina, but I think we'll be all right for this job. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Uh, yeah, we've got no uh, truck stops or anything like that, but we've got 20% stamina, uh, so we should be ooh, 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 uh, pretty good to go uh, for the rest of this job. I reckon we will get us to Washington 20% stamina. And I'm sure they've got a couple of motels there in Washington that we can uh, get our head down in uh, hey up. Oh, hello, my boy. Just checking this out. You're such a good son, Nathan. I appreciate your concern, but I'm managing okay for now. Just keep doing what you're doing and take care of yourself. I will. I promise. And I'll make sure to come visit you soon. That would be lovely, dear. Oh, and Nathan, I wanted to tell you something. What is it, Mom? I know I haven't been the easiest person to deal with lately. I just want you to know how much I love you and how proud of you I am. Thanks, Mom. That means a lot to you. You're welcome, sweetie. Now, I, I don't want to keep you from your work. Take care of yourself, okay? Actually, Clear your schedule this weekend. I want to take you somewhere. Okay. I don't have any plans anyway. Good. I'll pick you up Saturday morning around 9. It'll be just the two of us. What do you have planned for me, my boy? We'll find out. Love you. See you soon. Okay, Nathan. I love you too. I'll be waiting for you on Saturday. 
two things. Sorry for ruining such a sweet moment there. And second, has his mum's voice changed since we took her to the hospital with Rambi and that call? I'm, I'm sure that's a different uh, voice actress. I, I remember them saying in the patch notes, for, what is going on? In the last update, uh, that they changed the voice of somebody. I'm not sure if it was... What is going on here? What are you doing, you tool? I remember them saying that they're changing the voice for somebody. I wasn't sure if it was for Stephanie, though. I'll have to go back and check. But yeah, it seems very odd. Uh, so Nathan, Nathan didn't mention then about her moving in. And he just said that he's going to take her out this weekend, so... I don't know what he's playing out there, unless they completely forgot that Lara said she could be, she could move in with them. Uh, and they forgot to add that little bit in, I don't know. But we'll find out, I'm sure. Not too far to go to drop these pallets off anyway. Um, like I said, low stamina, but we should be okay. And we should make it to Washington. Um, without uh, driving off the road. Okie dokie, not too far to go at all now. Uh, literally just round the corner but i have noticed down here on the right hand side there's a motel so what i might do if it's going to be easy enough i'm going to swing it here and top up nathan's stamina which will mean we will uh, go into uh, nighttime driving which you will know i'm not overly keen on but it gives us that rest that we we, we require that's easy for me to say there we go so let's turn the engine off and uh, press the Y button. Right, so we've had our rest. We've got full stamina again. Wasn't that long ago that we filled the fuel up. So we can now go and drop these pallets off with full stamina. Uh, it's quarter past ten at night now. Um, so it won't be long until it's daytime again. I don't think we'll see uh, any daytime during this. Unless... Oh god, I'm going to do it again. Blimey O'Reilly, how many people have I rear-ended during this episode? Uh, unless, obviously, when uh, we finish this chapter, it skips the time on. Um, to a, a daytime part of the story. We will find out. Once we drop these pallets off. And... Uh, go on, is it will be chapter 28, which is where we thought we were <laughs> at the beginning of this episode. So I think there's only 28, 29, 30 and chapter 31 uh, to complete uh, once we finish this chapter. Which was, uh, and then we'll, we will move on uh, to uh, Emma's story, uh, Brave Girl, which was part of the last update. Once again, some more free DLC uh, from the guys at Kyodai. Uh, what else have we had? Oh, we had the Christmas story, which was only about an hour long. We had that from them and some Halloween content as well, where they gave us uh, uh, some uh, Halloween livery uh, for the truck, which was cool. Let's swing the left here. And I think we'll just be on the left hand side. As this is the lumber yard. Yep, this is us. Right, where do you want it, fella? Right there, do you? Okie dokie. We get very good parking accuracy here, are we? Oh well, actually, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Engine off and brake on. Why? Oh, here we go. You used to bring me here a lot when I was a kid. Well, Lara's coming here to look at the flowers. You were so beautiful. All of life, just like your father. He used to bring me flowers when he returned home after a long haul. I didn't really care about the flowers, but I enjoyed being here with you. You always seemed so calm and relaxed, like all your worries and problems disappeared. Oh, I always thought you were bored. Said you'd rather be with your friends than sitting here with me. I didn't have many friends back then. But things have changed now, right? Yes. The truckers are great. I think I finally found my place. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Nathan. I know I was overprotective. It wasn't easy raising you without your mother. I know. But I like Laura. She's good for you. I really. 
Kecil ya Bapak ya. Father, can you believe it? You would be a great father, just like your dad. Mom, there's something I want to talk to you about. What is it, Nathan? Laura and I want you to come move in with us. Oh, no. I don't want to be a burden to you. You won't be. You're young, just starting your family, and I'm old and sick. You are family, and we want to take care of you just like you took care of me all these years. Promise me you'll think about it. Laura and I would be happy to have you. Okay, uh, I'll think about it. But for now, let's just sit and enjoy the flowers. There we go. So we, he did ask her in the end. And there's another chapter unlocked. So turn that down again. I turned it up so you can hear them talk. That's the 27th chapter. We've just completed that. Bitter emotions. So I think we'll leave it there this week, guys, uh, for this episode. Uh, and we'll do the final few episodes next week. Um, not sure how that's going to turn out, uh, to be honest. This has been, like I said, uh, a tough episode for me to record with that. Um, but, you know, got to do what we've got to do. And in fact, we've got a call from Laura. So let's accept that and see what she's got to say. Hey, babe. How's it going? All is good. Just enjoying the scenery on my green adventures trip. That's great. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. Can you swing by the store and get me one of those special pillows for pregnant women? My back is killing me. Of course, babe. Anything for you and the baby. I'll stop at the store on my way to the solar farm. Thanks, Nathan. You're the best. Speaking of the solar farm, how's that going? It's going great. I just need to pick up the panels at the Solaris Power Shop, and then I'll be on my way to the farm near Forest Motel. That's fantastic, Nathan. I'm just trying to do my part. The environment is important to both of us. Absolutely. And speaking of doing your part... Don't forget to take care of yourself and don't push yourself too hard. I will, babe. I promise. And I'll make sure to pick up that pillow for you, too. Love you. Love you, too, Nathan. Be safe out there. So there we go. He's, he's just telling us about the next job, pretty much. We're going to pick up some solar panels. So that will be next time on the final episode of Nathan's Adventure on Truck Driver, The American Dream. And as I said, we will move on to Emma's story, Brave Girl after that which should only be a few episodes it's only about six or seven hours long uh, so that won't take too long to play through at all but once again thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen i really do appreciate it if you haven't done so already please hit that like button if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when i go live and new content drops onto the channel but while you're waiting for the next episode why not try one of these videos that have just popped up onto the screen and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.